Hello everybody, my name is Jennifer Maker and it's a beautiful day to show you how to create a super cute and easy shaker card on the Great Maker Show and Tell. It's always nice to send and receive a handwritten note or card. I personally love designing fun pop-up cards and unique cards that you can make for others. So one card that I haven't yet shown you is the shaker card. So what the heck is that, you ask? I also asked myself this several years ago. So a shaker card is a card with a window and items inside the window, usually small little sparkly things that uh, you can shake like this. And that's why we call it a shaker card. They're all loose inside that window. It's really cool. Now you can give these shaker cards for any reason as a thank you card, congratulations, an I love you card, or just a simple I'm thinking of you card. They're easy to make too. And just changing the paper and the contents inside the window can give you a whole new look and feel. It's very easy to personalize this and customize this for someone. Now to make these shaker cards, you need cardstock in 65 to 80 pound weight. Uh, I'm using regular cardstock here, but feel free to get fancy with special cardstock like glitter or even holographic foil craft board. Now as for glue, a double-sided adhesive tape works best for this project. For the smaller elements, I used 3M Scotch mounting tape. Anything with a little lift that's going to raise your plastic up is going to work. Now one caveat, if you're going to use a textured cardstock like glitter or something, you may need to experiment with the best adhesive for your paper because that texture can make it a little challenging. Now I used clear acetate for the window of my shaker card, um, but if you don't have any on hand, I have a tip for you. You can actually use the cover off of an old Cricut cutting mat, um, or even like some plastic that you have on some other material. You can get creative here. Now, what do you put inside a shaker card? Oh, there's so many things that you could put in there. My favorite is glitter confetti, which is what I have put into these cards, and really any kind of confetti or small thing will work. So to cut the cardstock and the acetate for the shaker cards, I use my Cricut cutting machine and it cut the cardstock, including for both the cards and the envelopes, though that is included as well. And I use the fine point blade and a some way to score it, like the scoring stylus or the scoring tool and the a cutting mat. I'm gonna show you exactly which settings I use for all of this in this video. Now, I also had my Cricut do the writing for me on the inside of the card, as you can see here. I used a Cricut glitter gel pen, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that later in this video as well. So let me show you where to find my shaker card designs, and then I will show you how to cut, draw, and assemble your fun little shaker card. Step one, get the shaker card templates. Download my free shaker card templates from my blog at jennifermaker.com slash 281. Just go to the red bar at the top and look for libraries. Then either click get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. You can find the pattern by searching the page for design 281 and then click it to download an SVG cut file for cutting with a Cricut or another cutting machine or to download a printable PDF. Step two, cut the shaker card layers. Let me show you how to cut the cardstock for this project on a Cricut cutting machine. First, upload the SVG cut file that you downloaded in step one to Cricut Design Space. If you're unsure how to unzip and upload SVG files, please watch my SVGs Made Simple training series at jennifermaker.com slash SVGS. Now there are two different designs, the hello card and the love card. I'm going to show you how to put the love card together in this video. The hello card goes together in much the same way. After you've placed the design on your canvas in design space, click ungroup in the upper right so you can work with your layers easier. Now you could just go ahead and click make it right now. I've already preset the score lines to their base layers for you but there are some things you can do to customize this design first. The white rectangle that you see here with the decorative corners is intended for you to write a message on it. So if you would like to use your Cricut machine to write the message, here's how you do that. First, select the text tool on the left, then type your message in the box that appears. If you want your words to appear on different lines like I'm doing here, just press the return key between the lines. 
Next, select a font by clicking on Fonts in the upper left corner and clicking one to select it. If you want just a single line writing font, click on Filter to find just writing fonts and then click on one that looks good to you. I've chosen DJ Flirt for this card, which comes in a regular style and a writing style. You can switch between those two with the style drop down menu. If you choose a writing style, Design Space will automatically switch its type to draw for you. If you choose a regular style, as I have here, because I think the bubble letters look really cute on this card, you'll need to manually change its type from cut to draw in the operations menu at the top yourself. Also note that not all fonts are free, and if there is a price, it will be displayed below the font name. But if you're a Cricut Access member, most of these fonts are included in Cricut Access. Learn more about Cricut Access at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut access. Now adjust the font size, letter space, alignment, and placement of the text layer on the white card until you are happy with it. You can use the alignment menu to center align your words and use the resize handle in the lower right corner to change the size of your words. Now this last step is super important. Select both the white rectangle and your text layer and then click attach in the lower right corner of your screen. To select multiple layers at once, just click on the first layer and then hold on your shift key to select the second layer. I've included two different envelopes for you to use as well. One envelope can be cut using a 12 by 12 cutting mat, while the other envelope requires a 12 by 24 cutting mat. If you don't want to cut both, which I assume you don't want to, be sure to hide or delete the envelope layer that you don't want to use. You are now ready to cut your card. Click Make It and select Medium Cardstock for the material. I changed the cutting pressure from default to more to be sure it cut all the way through. Put your pen into clamp A. Place your cardstock on your mat. Load your mat into the machine and press the flashing button to begin. Step three, assemble the envelope. Now that you have your card and envelope pieces cut out, let's assemble them. Grab your envelope piece and fold the cardstock on the score lines. I use the scraper tool to get a nice crisp fold. Next, add adhesive to each side of the longest flap. Fold the large envelope flap up. And here's a tip. You can add a strip of double-sided adhesive to the top of the envelope and then add a piece of parchment paper over the adhesive. That way it's ready to seal when you want to use the card or if you want to give it to someone else so they can seal it. Now if you cut the larger matte envelope, be sure to glue your accent paper to the inside of the envelope as well. You now have an envelope ready to go. Wasn't that easy? Step four, assemble the shaker card. First, glue the contrasting strip of cardstock to the left edge of the card's front, like this. Now take the three hearts that you cut in whatever cardstock, I put it in glitter cardstock, add adhesive to the back of each one. And then place them on top of the matching heart cutouts on the shaker card. Flip your cardstock over and place clear acetate or window plastic over the hearts using double-sided adhesive tape. But note, do not use the mounting tape here as you want the acetate to be flat against the card here. Next, cut strips of the foam mounting tape in half and place around each of the three hearts. You want to make sure that the tape 
ends all touch one another, forming a kind of wall around the hearts. And this is where you will put your confetti or glitter or whatever you're going to put in here. And you don't want any of that to come out. Add a few pieces of foam tape to the side of the card as well. Now fold the larger rectangle piece in half. This piece is the body of your card. Now it's time to grab your glitter. I found it easiest to put the glitter into a small piece of folded cardstock and pour it into the heart sections on your shaker card. You could also use a small dish or even a spoon. Place your folded card on top of the pink cardstock that you filled with confetti. Make sure the leading edge of the folded card is placed on the edge with the glitter confetti filled hearts. Open your shaker card and attach your personalized message inside to the inside of the card with double-sided tape. Now glue on the word love on top of the white cloud-shaped piece. And attach that piece to the front of your card using tape or glue or whatever you have. And that is it. Pretty easy, huh? Step five, show it off. Here is our finished shaker card. Isn't it just so adorable? Give it a shake to see how it works. And here's my hello shaker card, made much the same way as the love card. The only real difference is that you attach the flower on the front with a rhinestone brad, but you can also just use glue, of course. All right, so I have one more tip on other things that you can put inside your shaker cards. Watch for that at the very end of the video. Now, if you've got any questions about making a shaker card, please let me know. I love to help. Leave your question below this video or come on over to our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters, where you can get help, advice, ideas, and inspiration from hundreds of thousands of crafters just like you. And if you don't have a Cricut cutting machine, um, I give one away every month. You can enter for your chance to win your very own cutting machine over at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut giveaway. And that's it for today, except for my tip. Don't, don't forget to wait for the end to that. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. All right, so my last tip for this project is that you can totally switch up what you put inside your shaker card. So I use glitter confetti in these, but you can also use just plain old glitter. You can use rhinestones, pearls, cake sprinkles, Tic Tacs, little buttons, little pom-poms, charms, pebbles, mica flakes, micro beads, googly eyes, little polymer clay shapes, and so much more. Why not use that roll of party foil that you have and don't know what to do with and cut out custom confetti shapes with your Cricut and put those inside your shaker card. I think that would be so fun. I cannot wait to see what you put in your shaker cards. <laughs>